today we will see misconceptions related to data, their recording and organization. Misconception 1. What count does this tally mark represent? The tally mark shown here has a slant line drawn on four straight lines. When the lines are drawn diagonally, some children feel that the lines have been cut. That is, these tally marks are not to be counted. Hence, they don't count this tally mark and select the first option which is the wrong answer. Similarly, some children have the understanding that only the straight lines are to be counted in the tally mark and not to count the slant line. Therefore, they only count straight lines and do not count the slanting line. As there are four straight lines in the tally mark as shown and there is a slant line on the lines, so they count this sign as 4. That is, they choose the second option and this is also the wrong answer. Actually, the tally marks representing the number 4 have only four straight lines. That is, when the tally marks show four straight lines, its count is 4. If a slanted line is drawn on four lines, then the slanted line in the tally mark indicates fifth count. That is, this type of tally mark is counted as five and the third option is the correct answer. Misconception 2. Identify the tallying mark representing the number 10. A slanting line is drawn on four straight lines to represent the number 5 in the tally mark. But some children may not get the right way to express tally marks. They draw a slanting line on five straight lines to represent the number 5. In this way, they understand that in option 1, slanting line has been drawn on two groups of 5 to represent the number 10. So, they choose the first option, which is the wrong answer. Remember that it is wrong to draw five vertical lines and slanting line when showing the tally marks. The correct understanding is that a slanting line is drawn on four straight lines to represent the number five in the tally marks. Therefore, a slanting line is drawn on two group of four straight lines to represent the number 10. Here, in option 2, you can see this type of representation. From this representation, we get to know that this is 5 plus 5, which equals to 10. That means, option 2 is the correct answer. Today we saw misconceptions related to data, their recording and organization.